Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use SSH copy protocol also known as SCP to copy files from a router to your computer using PuTTY's SCP client. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add a switch uh, to this topology and it will be this switch which I'm going to be setting up for secure copy protocol. So first I'm just going to connect it up and we're connecting it up to this Microsoft uh, KM test loopback which is a adapter I have installed on my computer. Just want to see that I plugged it in the right interface here. MS loopback, yes that's what it's called. Press the play button and it's starting up. So the Microsoft KM test loopback adapter um, is built into Windows, you just need to look up how to install it and by having this cable go from your s switch in GNS3 to the cloud and plugging in this um, KM test loopback adapter your own computer can connect to the switch. So I've put an IP address of 172.16.0.99 on this um, KM test loopback adapter on my own computer. I'll show you that in a second. So here it is. Um, going to right click properties. So there's the Microsoft KM test loopback adapter and an internet protocol version 4. There's the IP 172.16.0.99. So I'm going to close all that. So that's how my computer is connecting to the switch. Now I need to configure the switch. So I'm going in on the switch. Hopefully it's booted already. And um, first thing I'm going to need to do is put on a username and password. Um, when using SCP, your username and password must get you in at privilege level 15, so that you, as soon as you log in, you must not be at the user mode cursor, you must be at the enable mode cursor. So here I would type um, username TJ, and I'm going to put uh, privilege level, so, sorry, privilege 15, secret, it's going to use a simple password of Cisco. Then I'm going to put an enable password, or enable secret actually of 1234, not very important, it's just a demo. Now in order to make SSH work you need a certificate so that's the first step but before you can make a certificate you need a host name and domain name. We already have a host name of switch but I'm just going to change it to SW1 and then we can go IP domain hyphen name anything you want here this is the name for your certificate so in this case company.com then we go to generate the certificate crypto key generate RSA you could stop here or you can type modulus and specify ahead of time what size you want to use. I'm using 768 that's the smallest you can use to use SSH version 2. So there we go it says SSH 1.9 just set it to 2 so it's IP SSH version 2. So now if somebody wants to come in on the VTY lines, they're still not going to be able to come in. So we s put here uh, login local, specifying if you're coming in with the Telnet, you will be checked against the local database, which is that um, username TJ password Cisco I just put in. And we can put transport input SSH so that uh, Telnet will not work to this router, only SSH. Um, at this point, I believe um, SSH will be working, so let's just write that. 
and I'm going to test it from this router here which is oh wait I haven't put an IP address on this thing yet so let's just see do IP interface brief we've got no IP so we go interface VLAN 1 because all interfaces on this thing will be part of VLAN 1 and I can put IP address 172.16.0.253 255.255.255.0 no shutdown and let's see if we can ping my computer so it's do ping 172.16.0.99 and that works okay so I just want to see if I can from the router the router is also on this network if you just show you quickly show IP interface brief See the router's IP is 172.16.0.254. So we're going to do a SSH dash L. Then we put a space, specify the username TJ to 172.16.0.253. Press enter. Says you want to log in. We come in with our username Cisco. And as you noticed, it has skipped us straight into enable mode so from here we can type conf t so now that you have ssh working on switch w1 to make secure copy protocol working we enable the secure copy protocol server on switch one so you end global config and it's just one command ip scp server enable and that's it. So now the secure copy protocol server is enabled. So remember this is the switch and this cloud represents my own computer. So if we come down here, this prompt is a command prompt on my computer and from here I can ping that switch 172.16.0.253 I've made this folder called Cisco Files. I've logged into the folder. If I type DRR here, you can see this folder is empty. It says here zero files. I'm going to type CLS for a clear line statement. I think that's what it stands for. Um, so now I want to see can I get the running config, which is sitting on um, the switch, onto my computer, into the Cisco file. But first I need to tell you where I got the client from. So the client I'm using is called Putty SCP. So you can look that up on Google. Putty as in like P-U-T-T-Y like that. So I'm using Putty's uh, SCP secure copy protocol client, which is just basically a file that you download this one exe called P S C P like that dot exe. And what you need to do is take this file and chuck it in your path directory. So if you type path anywhere here you see all these directories are places that your computer is going to look for a file uh, sorry for the file that goes with the command name when you type it so what I did is I just took this um, file called pscp.exe and I pasted it into the C Windows directory because that's part of the path um, well C Windows backslash 32 you could paste it in there as well but there's c colon backslash windows that's where I pasted it in so you download this uh, file called um, putty it, putty secure copy protocol file um, it doesn't come with windows so don't be surprised if you try this and it doesn't work anyway let's get back to um, copying the running config of switch one so the command is p SCP. The easy way to remember it, the P stands for PuTTY, and then this is SSH copy protocol dot exe. This exe at the end is not important. You could just do it like that or with it, doesn't matter, but I like to type it exactly how it is. So it's PSCP dot exe space, and you're going to use the switch SCP, stands for secure copy protocol. I get the idea that this. Um, program can work with a different protocol as well so by saying dash SCP you're forcing it to just use this um, 
SSH copy protocol. Right, then space again. Now we need to specify the source. So the source you specify first with a username at this is how we log in. So it's TJ is the username we set up on the switch at 172.16.0.253. That's the switch's IP. Then we're not using slashes here for some reason, but uh, you put a colon. Then you refer to um, one of your file systems in your switch. Let me just uh, show you this for a second, what I'm talking about. If you're on the switch and you're in privileged mode and you say show file system, like that, show file systems, um, basically you have these built in file systems called opaque. Now, system is where the running config sits. If I go here and I say show system hyphen running hyphen c-o-n-f-i-g um, anyway I've made some mistake there with the command but do not worry about it because it works this way around um, so it's the username at 172.16.0.253 that's the IP of the switch colon so system is where you find the running config it says colon system colon running hyphen config like that and then where do you want to put the file so you press a space and it's going to put the file straight in the Cisco folder because we're already in it if we just put the name here so I, I want that running config to be renamed to startup dash config like that so it's going to get this um, so it's going to use the name TJ to log into 172.16.0.254 and in the opaque system folder it's going to get the running config file and that file is going to be copied into Cisco files but it's going to be written as startup config and it's basically going to rename it so press enter now it's going to want the password okay here it's basically saying you know here's your do you agree to the certificate and every time I make another example on the computer it's moaning the certificate changed. No problem. We press the wire. Ask for the password. So the password is Cisco. C I S C O. Enter. We drag this up a second. And there you can see it's copying the file. Now if I type D I R, as you can see, there is the file. Startup config. And just to show you it's the real file, I can type more to display this file. S T A R T S startup config and there you can see as I'm just scrolling through it I have copied the file now I'm going to show you how you can back up the iOS as well so I go back into this is the switch you type your DIR there's your iOS it's called virus um, underscore L2 something something okay so I'm going to do this command again. So in CLS, I just want to get to the top of the screen. So, copy. I'm copying, f sorry, uh, totally wrong command. P S C P dot E X E. So that's PuTTY secure copy protocol dot E X E. We need the switch S C P. Where are we copying from? Well, we put the username. We log into the switch at. 172.16.0.253 colon but now um, we're looking for the iOS file which sits in flash I believe let's have a look so we can say show file systems and there you see it's the one with the data on it's you can either refer to it as flash colon zero or flash so it's like that flash zero colon now we need the, that file name uh, which is sitting there so that was virus underscore l2 dash adv enter p r i s e enterprise k9 M, sorry, K9 dash M. We want to copy this file locally. Well, um, 
I'm just going to give it a new name. So I'm going to just call it um, iOS underscore OS uh, iOS underscore OS underscore backup dot ISO. So let's see if this all looks right. So there's your putty secure copy protocol dot exe. That's actually the name of the file that's doing the work. There's a switch which is SCP to use a secure copy protocol. Um, no, must use secure copy protocol. So username tj at 172.16.0.253. That's the IP address of the switch. Want to access it from? So we put at the end of the colon flash zero it's from the flash. Is a directory of flash zero colon here. Yeah? And there's a file fios dash l2 dash adv enterprise k9 dash m. And there's the new name we're going to give the file. Press enter. Ask for the password. And there you can see it's copying the file down. Now, this is going to take quite long. So I'm just going to end the video here. Um, I'm sure you can see that it is working. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've learned something.